One way of cleaning up the human body is by using uh, diaphoretics and sweating the poisons out of the body. One of our greatest diaphoretic groups of the sweating herbs, yarrow, of course, is one of my pets. As I have so many herbal pets. But yarrow is easily found. And there's a lot of it. It's called milfoil. It has uh, a beautiful little fern-type leaf. But it comes in yellow and pink and white. A chamomile. Now, the chamomile is one of our choice diaphoretics and a very tasty drink, too. But of these first two that I'm mentioning, we have some interesting things about them. With yarrow, I will guarantee that if you will make a concentrated yarrow tea and massage that into the scalp two or three times a week, rinse the hair with yarrow tea, that regardless, don't look at me, of how white the hair is gone, it'll go back to its natural color. How, con hmm? how concentrated? Oh, third power. Many people have just... just I'm not clear what that means. Well, if we make up tea, which would be an ounce to the pint, a teaspoon to the cup, and just make up tea, that's single power. All right, we... Uh -huh. A heaping, heaping. All right. We taper, we, we um, simmer this down to one half its original amount. We made up a quart of it. We bring it down to a pint. When it's brought down to a pint, it's called three power because it's three times as powerful as when it was first made. Don't, simmer, though. Simmer, don't boil it. Now, if it's brought down to one-fourth its original amount. It's called seven power. Seven times as strong. That makes it quite potent. A gallon brought down to a quart. Uh, so th this is a first power, third power, and seventh power. Well, if you take yarrow, uh, just third power, just simmer down, and, and um, massage it into the scalp and rinse the hair with it two or three times a week. If your hair was brown, it would come back brown. If it was black, it would come back black. If it was, if it was strawberry blonde, it would come back strawberry blonde. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. Yes. If, uh, will it do anything for hair that's changing colors? It's not white, but it's perhaps getting dark. Oh, yes. What this does is take it back to its original color. No, 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 no. Um, How long? <laughs> there are no two people alike in this, but we find people that within a year. Oh, less than that, will have their hair changed. Uh, I'm talking about three times a week. We'll say. Not overnight. We'll leave it on overnight, huh? You know, this is an interesting thing. Uh, people ask me why I don't use it. Well, number one, I just don't have time. Number two, you have to look at it. I don't. <laughs> and I, I'm very happy with it. But over the years, I had a very interesting case. A lady who was a strawberry blonde was a student of mine and a patient. And she was quite young. And over the years, she would come regularly to um, our lectures, and she would come for treatments. And her hair went from strawberry blonde to uh, gray. And uh, the last time I saw her for quite a period of time, all the gray was throughout the entire hair. And, uh, and I never even mentioned it. But she came back in a few months later, and she was the same strawberry blonde I'd known when she was quite young, except there was age with it. But she had that strawberry blonde hair, and I took a double take. And she said, I expected that. 
And she said, it isn't die. She says, I went back over my notes. And when we were in the Hotel Newhouse years ago on a lecture series, you told us about using yarrow to bring the hair back to its natural color. And I'd forgotten all about it, so I started using it. And that's what's happened. She said, my hair is now strawberry blonde as it used to be from yarrow. So now, is that yarrow, yarrow flowers or the leaf? Well, that is the herb. The herb. The the herb. Mm-hmm. This is so interesting because we have seen uh, Mexicans who had started to go white and their hair comes back black or dark brown or whatever it was. Now, if you are blonde and you want to keep that hair blonde, you will use chamomile. And chamomile will do the trick. Same Same thing. Yes, it's so simple. Oh, you could drink it, but most of them don't. Most of them don't. What it is, it's a food. It's just a food. Yes, rosemary can be used, but it isn't as fast as yarrow. These are just some side effects. And someone asked about, can you get hair back? Well, you know, in this little booklet, The Three-Day Cleanse and the Mucus's Diet, in the back of it, there is a little article in the 40-odd formulas that tells how to get your hair back. And you can follow it through, and you'll get results today. I'll never forget a short, bald-headed man, and his head was like a cue ball. Uh, he raised his hand. He said, you say it will come back? And I said, yes. Can you make it come back like it was before? And I said, I can't do anything. I said, it's your baby. I said, bring it back. Yes, it'll come back like it was before. Well, that'll be the day. He called me up a number of months later. Doc, I thought you said that hair would come back like it was before. I said, well, the hair will come in if you follow instructions. Did you follow instructions? Yes, I followed instructions. What's, ch- what's wrong? My hair was straight before and it came in curly. <laughs> he said, I like it. But he said, I just had to give you a hard time. <laughs> All right. As long as those follicles have not been damaged by chemicals or burnt out, you'll get the hair back again. And we, we have proven this in so many hundreds and hundreds of cases. We have an unusual one. We have a letter on. This came out in the Healthy Newsletter. And so we've had lots of, lots of examples of it. But this lady said that she wanted us to know because she thought this was just a little bit special. She had been dark-haired and her hair went white. And she decided she didn't like it white, so she hented it. And it was all hented. And she said it was doing very well. And, and uh, she decided to quit the henna. And as the hair grew back, it was red on the ends. And then there was a space where it was white. And she decided she'd use the yarrow. And it came in brown as it had originally been. And she has... And the letter tells how she has three shades of hair. Brown, white, henna. (laughs) Well, I I like it, but it's interesting to hear these things.